Jesus told his disciples this parable. A man going on a journey called in his servants and entrusted his possessions to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to a third one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. Immediately the one who received five talents went and traded with them and made another five. Likewise, the one who received two made another two. But the man who received one went off and dug a hole in the ground and buried his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants came back and settled accounts with them. The one who had received five talents came forward, bringing the additional five. He said, Master, you gave me five talents. See, I have made five more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your, master, your master's joy. Then, then the one who had received two talents also came forward and said, Master, you gave me two talents. See, I have made two more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then the one who had received the one talent came forward and said, Master, I knew you were a demanding person, harvesting where, do, harvesting where you did not plant and gathering where you did not scatter. So out of fear, I went off and buried your talent in the ground. Here it is back. His master said to him in reply, You wicked, lazy servant, so you knew that I harvest where I did not plant and gather where I did not scatter? Should you not then have put my money in the bank so that I could have got it back with interest on my return? Now then, take the talent from him and give it to the one with ten. For to everyone who has, more will be given and he will grow rich. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. And through this useless servant into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. In today's Gospel, the Lord presents to us this parable of talents. And we need response to important questions before these teachings, before his teachings. First ones, what talents I received from God? Each one of us received good things from God. We receive talents in our life. And you need to ask yourself, what talents I receive in my life? I just give you some examples because, but you need to ask yourself this question. For example, I receive a good family. I born in a good family. In that family, I receive love, good examples, I receive faith, I receive a beautiful gift, my family. Maybe some person don't have a good family, but some others, yes. Your country, for example, is talent, is a blessing. You born in this country, 
and not in other one. And here you have many possibilities, many opportunities that the other people in other countries don't have. It. Talents for you. You receive good education, for example, good school. You receive Christian or Catholic education. Talents. How many talents you receive from God? That is the fear question. And you need to respond with humility before God. He knows you. And He knows that everything that He gives you, He knows your heart, your talents. And second question, what am I doing with those talents? And that is an important question. Because I receive one, two, three, four, five talents, and at the end of my life, when the Lord, came, when the Lord comes, He asks me about my talents. What are you doing with your talents right now? For example, you receive faith. How do you receive the faith? How do you live your faith? With passion, with joy, or you live your faith with um, fear? Don't be afraid to acclaim your faith outside. When you present in other place, you say, I'm Christian, I'm Catholic, with joy, or you occult that information because it's not good in that moment, it's not good in this world. The Lord asks you about that talent too. Other things, for example, when you receive a good education, many possibilities, you share your talents with other ones, not just your money, your time, your knowledge, you share with other ones, or you prefer close your heart and leave selfishness, egoism. We receive that talents for produce good fruits for God. And many people think that everything that they have is from our their own efforts. And they forget that everything is from God. We need more thanksgiving and humility. Humility for recognize that everything that I have is from God. And we have many good things in our life, many good things. And thanksgiving, grateful to God. Thank you, Lord, for these talents. Thank you for my family. It's my family with good and bad things, but it's my family. Thank you for this country. Thank you for the opportunities that I have. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for spiritual talents, the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the communion, for the church. We have many blessings, many talents in our life. The problem is, I want to give you good fruits to God. I I want to produce the fruits of love that God needs from me. Today the Lord is clear with us. You receive your talents. At the end, I ask you about, about the talents. What is your answer? We need to prepare. And I repeat, live with faith. Live our faith with joy. Many people live superficial faith, just apparently. Live your faith with passion. We are fortunate. We receive the beautiful gift of the faith. We are blessed when we come and receive Jesus Christ himself in the Eucharist. This is the talents that we receive, and God needs good fruits from us. Let us ask to the Lord that increase our faith in Him 
and help us to produce good fruits. And just finish this reflection, this homily, with this short prayer. Lord, I give to you all that I am, and thank you for all that you have given to me. Let us pray in silence.